I come to our next speaker is Fishal Kahate from KPMG and he's a manager in the technology and innovation of KPMG Switzerland financial service says in a seasoned consultant with over 10 years of experience in a client-facing data-driven environment with a strong analytic background. Unique ability and understand client issues and recommended, recommend well thought data analytic solutions. Experience of operating in various domains such as retail, insurance and banking. He's a specialist in data strategies, business intelligence, advanced data management, data integration, data migration, customers analytics. He laughs in the face here, and I can do that uh, one and a half, and half an hour minimum, I think, Fisha, <laughs> Fish is, excuse me, I think it's better you talk now in English, <laughs> that's my bad English, I do my very best, excuse me, and I give you now this step, the next step, please tell us your information, tell us what you have for us. Thank you for welcome for us. Thank you very much for the warm welcome and the opportunity to speak on behalf of KPMG. Um, thanks for that quick introduction as well. Again, Vishal Kahate uh, from KPMG Financial Services Practice. Um, try to use technology and understand how clients are facing different issues and try and use the technologies at hand to accelerate their digital journey. So what I'll be talking about today is how KPMG Switzerland is positioning the technology to not just innovate but also accelerate where the clients see issues. The presentation that I have is split into uh, sort of two parts. The first part is understanding the need of the hour. The second is what KPMG is bringing to the table and with some of our alliance partners, uh, such as Appian, to the table uh, for serving our financial services clients. And some of the use cases, you know, what we are seeing across KPMG globally, what we have done for, uh, for clients within the EFS practice. So, uh, given that the pandemic has hit us, and I think everybody here have noticed notice the trend, you know, the trend that everybody wants to go digital. The need is to understand how technology will be able to better serve us. And with global pandemic, it, it has become even so more important that we understand how to better serve our customers and improve the customer experience. So for our clients, financial services, and then their clients to be able to enhance their, uh, their experience. So some of the key challenges that we are getting from our clients is the clients wants to know how, how do we digitally uh, onboard customers, new clients, how can we improve our customer experience? Given everything is uh, done in a virtual world right now, it's even so more important that we, we find efficiencies. That comes to the second point, you know, the entire front, middle and back office processing, given we, were, we used to sit next to each other, and now that we are sort of in a virtual world, how can we ensure all of these activities are done smoothly whilst maintaining you know, the, the, the efficiency, making sure that the bank products are marketed accordingly, and how can we use automation within the world of financial services? Whilst doing all of that, it's even so more important that we have a 360 degree view across all of the actions that are happening within an organization. Again tools such as low-code platforms, uh, Appian is best placed and we are partnering with them to provide that orchestration layer and also a 360 degree view of how the business operation is uh, being conducted. And the time to market needs to be reduced quite significantly and hence uh, low-code platforms you know, are, are best suited to help that digitalization journey. Then we have the uh, Compliance issue, uh, I was just uh, listening quite attentively uh, to a previous guest. Uh, compliance and you know, uh, risk management is a big challenge these days. And having that standardized approach across the compliance unit is even so more important. Having that complete visibility on an automated basis, on a monthly, weekly, and annually is becoming quite critical to make quick decisions and the visibility, how do you notify these alerts so that 
actions can be taken. So it's not just insight, it's actionable insight. Now, this is sort of some of the key challenges that we have noticed while we are speaking to our clients. Then we move on to what KPMG has done. You know, we have taken this as an opportunity, as a challenge to build some prototypes using Appian. These are solutions that are ready to be deployed. Each of these solutions, there is a clear client challenge there. And we have sort of tried to focus on a particular market segment. Some of these solutions are very valid for uh, big banks. Some of the solutions are valid for both. And the other solutions are for some of our audit clients and our wealth managers. I'll just give you food for thought in each of these uh, prototypes that we have built. And then happy to take questions at the end if you have any specific questions with regards to these tools. Starting with multi-jurisdictional regulatory management. Given we are a global uh, economy, it's, it's important to be able to understand when the regulations are introduced in one jurisdiction, how are they adopted and amended in different jurisdictions? It needs to have a centralized repository, but without the effort of you know, bringing all that data into one place, this is an orchestration activity. This is an intelligence unit that KPMG has. We enable the our risk, global risk department using this Appian tool, which is the multi-jurisdictional regulatory management. What it does is it allows people sitting in Hong Kong, UK, US to adopt their global jurisdiction and the local jurisdiction uh, 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 content and the visibility is provided across different jurisdictions. What that does is now you know how many jurisdictions you have covered, how many different regulations in each jurisdictions you have adapted, and then you can manage your compliance across each uh, regulation and each jurisdiction. And this is mainly for the global banks as they have business globally. Moving on to the Lombard lending. This is quite a topical uh, challenge right now given Switzerland is uniquely positioned to have a product like Lombard uh, loan management. Here we have noticed, you know, it needs a risk monitoring solution that can be used through these low code platforms and enhance the case management and the workflow management here. The approval process of the Lombard loans, the ability to feed all the data sources from say Bloomberg Terminal or Reuters into one place. And the, the development and automation of these reporting to understand where the risks are concentrated. This is not just a workflow management solution, but it also allows the stakeholder orchestration here. Some of the key features of this tool is, if you are a chief risk officer, what view would you want to see? If you're a relationship manager, what view you would want to see? Again, it, it allows you to have this orchestration layer and the ability to see in real time basis, what is your risk exposure? This again, given uh, some of the Swiss private banks offer this Lombard uh, loan management. So we have targeted the solution to both segments, the global banks and the Swiss private banks. We then have the global regulatory tra uh, affairs tracker. This is slightly different to the multi-jurisdictional. Here, the bank needs to cater for queries coming from different jurisdictions across the globe. This is a case management solution where when the query comes to the bank, the bank will be able to log it into this tracker and then assign tasks to respective business units. It could be that the, the query originated from Hong Kong, but the US firm needs to do something or US arm needs to do something. But every regulatory query is managed in a centralized location. Now then we have the PRIPS KID generator. Uh, many people know KID as key information document. This is mainly targeted at wealth and asset managers. Here, if you have a product that you want to sell to a retail customer who's an investor, you need to provide this retail investor with a two-pager document which outlines what exactly this uh, product is and what is the risk exposure for this product. What is the previous five years or 10 years worth of um, 
performance of this fund how it has performed what is what is the return and some legal counsel uh, wordings at the end again this has to be done quite regularly across different products that the bank has and this is a central tool which you can easily use to automate this kit generation on a regular basis you have history you have the ability to assign tasks notify when the kit generation needs to be completed and the, the entire end to end process is digitalized and automated the last tool is focused on our audit clients this is the segregation of duties um we have noticed a lot of times you have these toxic combinations within an organization and to be able to audit which user has a elevated access that can perform a fraudulent activity is very difficult to understand if we see segregation of duties in a in a simple term someone who's capable of making a material change which means say adding a transaction or deleting a transaction should not be able to do so without proper approvals within an organization and a highly regulated industry such as financial services it's very important to be able to audit it and say comfortably that you have covered this risk with regards to segregation of duties you know who are the users and who are the people who can approve the activities that the users are conducting the solution that we have built it takes the the toxic combination and can run these uh, routines on a regular basis not just to tell the customers how they are performing on previous audits but also can help them manage it uh, preventively so rather than reactive it's a preventive measure so those are the five key solutions that we have built within uh, kpmg switzerland here uh, using low code platforms such as appian and these are the solution that are ready to be uh, deployed for, for some of our clients i'll move on to the last slide before we go to the questions this is just to give you a view of what solutions we have uh, within kpmg using the low code platforms and to give you an idea this is across different uh, segments you can see there is privacy you can see there is compliance there is uh, credit risk management and there is customer onboarding as well so there is a wide variety of uh, use cases again so using solutions uh, which are low code platforms such as appian it's it's uh, something that's made possible and we have received quite positive feedbacks in terms of the adoption of low code platforms in the financial services so that's sort of the monologue uh, i would like to get some questions now um yeah uh, i don't know to spell it right or not it was fish or fishal what's the name really what i can they say that you I can stick right. with wish that's okay okay wish wish um at the moment i have no questions from the chat but um thank you for all that what you talked now and with your explanations and your lecture um what do you think it is possible that uh, smaller companies smes uh, to work together with the system and in in combined with kpmg and appian together it is there a possibility or is this more for bigger companies a solution um again it can be tailored for smes as well um we work together with the likes of appian to understand the client challenge then propose a solution together it can be done in a partnership or if it's an uh, if it's something that we have out of the box available it can be cost effective to do that because these solutions are ready to be deployed on different clients and yes it's targeted at uh, some of the solutions are targeted at global banks but a lot of small medium enterprises are also adopting the likes of appian because they see the efficiency mm -hmm. and because it's cloud based it makes it much more faster to adopt and change if required okay well wow, thank you um and martina asked us here why did you choose appian over other tools three things mainly comes to mind first they have a global reach uh, they are truly a global organization and the support structure that they offer is one of the best uh, having worked with appian myself for last 5 years um, I, i can comfortably vouch for that that the solution is quite distinct compared to the other market competitors 
they also have innovated quite a lot. Uh, just to name a few of the innovations that they have done uh, recently is they have added an RPA uh, within the existing module. That's quite an attractive proposition for the client, so they don't have to have different applications. They can have one application that suits different needs. One is the case management, the other one is an automation. Okay. The third one is uh, their partnership, you know, uh, we have exchanged quite a bit of knowledge. We benefit from their experience and they benefit from our regulatory experience. So that's why we have chosen Appian as one of our partners. Okay, it's a partner from us too. You see that here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a red logo there. It's one of our main sponsors here, and I'm really proud that we have Mark Wilson after there in our uh, as a, in a speech, and we have them in a panel in the evening. It's really good for us. I have another question from Martina. Did you assess any other law code vendors? Um. Given we are KPMG, a global firm, we do have partnerships with the likes of uh, Pega, uh, the likes of uh, Fluable, the likes of uh, Workiva, but they, are, they have a specific place in the market and I experience that the flexibility that Appian provides is something that we thought, you know, uh, is best suited for our clients' needs and that's why we have chosen here Appian. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for that. Um, where do you see Swiss banks in comparison to other global banks? Um, in terms of adoption of uh, digital platforms, or in, yes, in which sense? I think so, yeah. Okay. Um, I've worked with the likes of HSBC, RBS, and the Swiss, uh, Swiss banks as well now. Um, if it's cloud-based solution, then Switzerland is uh, right now adopting cloud, but there are a few challenges with the uh, banking secrecy laws. So we have to work around the, uh, the regulations. There is an adoption for, such as uh, UBS already got an alliance with the likes of Microsoft for cloud adoption. Uh, Appian partners with uh, AWS and Azure both, so it's easy to uh, deploy um, on-premise, on cloud. And in terms of the adoption, the, the pace is picking up and the pandemic has unfortunately has had like the positive result. Unfortunately, it's a pandemic, but fortunately it's, uh, it has had positive results on the adoption of digital platforms. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Martin asked me um, a meaning with respect of adoption of technology and uh, maturity of digitalization. Um, Again, various segments of the clients have uh, various uh, level of maturity. Some of the Swiss private banks are only starting now, but the likes of Credit Suisse and UBS have already uh, adopted this and are at the forefront, you know, uh, on the cloud adoption. They're accelerating now, but if you see uh, the private banks, the pace is slower than the global banks. Okay, yeah. Yeah, well, thank you for that. Uh, I don't have another question at the moment. You were really quick in your presentation. <laughs> and you can see they are really, really professional here you are. And uh, thank you that you are here and that you thank you for your talk with us and for your speech. Have a good time. Take care uh, in this crisis. And I hope we will us soon together, perhaps in February again. <laughs> thank you very much.